we can pack together and it's like one of those face massager things also packed in my wetsuit quite cute so i'll bring that don't own a suitcase this one is so freaking cute Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this is the start of my Byron prep vlog, prep and pack, pack and prep. And I've actually just realized that I don't own a suitcase. So I've just pulled out at the front of Kmart. I need one, Geordie needs one. Yeah, first on the agenda is buy a freaking suitcase. But for the rest of the day, um, I'm just going to take you through what I do to prep and pack my bag. I've definitely got to wash my hair. I've just finished at the gym and I'm a sweaty, disgusting mess. I'll wash my hair, do a spray tan, all of that good stuff, but I'll take you guys along. Hello guys. I am back home now. Getting the suitcases was such a fail because I couldn't get any, I guess like without Geordie there. So I was like trying to call him, but he was at work. So I was like, this isn't gonna work. So I just came home, I didn't get anything and maybe we can go together a bit later on. Sorry if my skin looks super inflamed. I have been scratching it. My blackheads or like my pores are just full of crap and I really need to do a facial or a face mask or something and just sort it out because it's really irritating me how clogged my face feels. But I thought I would show you, I guess, this part of my Byron prep and that is planning two videos in advance and getting it scheduled so that when I'm away, I don't have to worry about editing and getting things uploaded. I'm just currently working on the thumbnail that you would have seen in probably the video before this. So that is my vegan meal prep video. I really liked this one and the two recipes that I created for the meal prep were so delicious and then I'm also going to be editing this video that you're watching right now so that this can be scheduled and this can be uploaded so I'm going a bit stir crazy. Jordi and I have made it to Big W. We are picking some suitcases. I have found one that's on clearance and it's this cute pink one and it's a two piece one for $30 off. So I'm gonna take that. It's a hard choice because we've gotta find something that's gonna be good for Byron and good for overseas when we do go overseas. So that one's nice. I like that one. Ooh, okay, okay. Okay, these are the Geordie options and this is the Jess one. 55? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that looks really cool. I can't, I can't. Why do I look so pale? This is a disaster. I'm gonna use some of my new skincare products that I got in the mail. They're in this like travel kit as well, so it's perfect. I was like, oh yay! On the little note they said, have the best trip to Byron, and I was like, I will now, thank you. But I got two new cleansers, perfect traveling size. I've got an exfoliator, I might use that. Oh, that looks good. I've got a seed face oil, and what is this? Face cream. Oh, this is the thing about packing. I feel like I suck at it. Tonight, I'm also, tonight, I'll be eating chicken kebabs. Do you ever just like do that? So, tonight, shut up. I've been up for way too long. So I'm gonna go and have a shower now. I'm gonna exfoliate the out of everything. I'm gonna shave. I'm gonna put my tan on. I'm gonna put a second layer of tan on. But let's head to the bathroom. I am so ready to have a bloody shower. I feel like I haven't washed my hair in like a week and I have done a sweaty gym session every day this week so that's really cute. But I thought while I'm standing here in my skincare cupboard I would pick out some things that I know I'm definitely going to take and kind of make my little toiletries bag. I like to take this Bang & Body travel bag. This one's so good. First things first, this is a given. The Bang & Body Illuminating Lotion is absolutely coming with me. There is no way she wouldn't. I'm gonna bring my Bondi Sands face sunscreen. This one is perfect also for travel size because it fits really nicely in there. I've had to use this literally like every single day. I get like this dermatitis sort of rash up on my shoulders. It was really, really bad like 
a month ago and then I started using this on it because my doctor said to. Yeah, this is how it looks now, so I'm really, really happy about that. I've got my Lash and Brow Serum from Bondi Boost. This has been my favorite thing. I got it in my Goodness Me box this month and it's like one of those face massager things to like get rid of the lymphatic drainage? I don't even know, but it feels fantastic, so that's why I like it. I saw the Victoria's Secret model Rome stretch. I saw her using these in like one of her videos and I was like, ooh, how freaking cute is this? This moisturizer, I have been loving using this one with my Bang & Body One at night. It was just one that rocked up to my PO box one day and I fell in love with, so thank you so much to my Clarence. Tick of approval. This is the tan that I've been using lately. I think I really like it. I like the smell a lot better. It does smell a little bit like honey, so I prefer that over the coconut scent. This one has been really good, but I think I might do two layers tonight. Geordie's also not here to tan my back, and I didn't think about that. I'm gonna take my little lip balm. Before I jump in the shower, this is the shampoo and conditioner from Bondi Boost that I've been using. It is the blonding one. I keep this one down here in a container just in case the purple leaks on the tiles. <laughs> Highly recommend that one for blonde tan. I am out of the shower and I've got my fake tan on now. I don't have it on my face because I think I'll do a face tan later tonight after I put these masks on. I just took these out of the fridge because I wanted them to be nice and beautiful and cold. This is definitely a bathroom job. Let's relocate. I also thought I would wear my gown from a runway show that I did like years ago and I don't know if I was supposed to take it home but I did I think that's right please tell me it's not just me but is this one like way bigger than this one so I've just set you up there so we can pack together this is my suitcase my brand new suitcase I've just completely disinfected it this is perfect so it came with the second suitcase yay I've never really done like one of these videos before, but my plan is to pull out everything that I like and then kind of organize it from there and then take away the things that I don't need. You know, this dress is an absolute must. I'm obsessed with this one. You would have seen it a bajillion times on my Instagram. I got these two new jumpers from Billy J. I just don't know if I want to bring this pink one. That's like a mustardy one. That's quite cute, so I'll bring that. Hope you can't see my bum in the mirror. <laughs> Definitely that one. I've taken the eye masks off because they were annoying me. I honestly feel like I own a lot more activewear than I do swimmers. I've got this yellow one piece, which I really like. I got this from Silk. I don't know, I just like, I like this, but it's not padded and it's like white, I don't know, it's just like Nip City. I don't own any good bikinis. I do have this red bikini, which is kind of cute. Maybe also bringing this top with these bottoms. I think they are really cute as well. This one is so freaking cute. But it's just like, it's not practical. My boobies fall straight out of it. I'm not like a pajama sort of person. I literally wear like active wear as pajamas. So I'm gonna bring these as pajama shorts. This as a pajama top. Thanks, right away. What I'm going to do is figure out how many days we are going for, what the weather is gonna be like, and then kind of plan the outfits accordingly, if that makes sense. I'll definitely be swimming every single day. So I think three bikinis three swimmers is fine. Okay, so the clothes part of my suitcase is packed. Now I am packing my carry-on, which is gonna be this right away neoprene one. I just really like this one and I don't need to take my big gym bag. Geordie's calling. Alrighty, fast forward a couple of hours and I think I'm ready to go. I've packed up this side of the bag, my socks, my undies, and then in here I've got my disgusting shoes, my makeup and my toiletries. And I just also packed in my wetsuit. I've also got to bring my hard drive just so I can 
put some things from my memory card on there. Then in my carry-on, I've got my nutrition book so I can do a lecture. I've got a little handbag, a snack, some tampons, my pill, hairbrush, lip balm, wallet, and that's about it. And then this will be my outfit for tomorrow. Is that so, everything? I think so. We're finalizing off our packing. Geordie's just done his suitcase. This is... Clean the bed. <laughs> Got to put some makeup on because my rash on my neck is just looking fabulous. Like, it literally, it looks like a jicky, but I promise it's not. Otherwise, it would have disappeared by now. This is a joke. My suitcase is done. My carry-on's done. I'm literally just going to do makeup and start the first Byron vlog, which you guys will see in three days after this video comes out. So if you enjoyed this little pack and prep with me, please give it a thumbs up and get excited for the Byron vlogs. Subscribe, hit the bell. My name is Jess, I make new videos every three days. So I will see you in three days.